Right, here it is, the one you've all been waiting for, the Tesla Model Y. Milk float of the year, apparently. Well, I can confirm, it's brilliant. It drives better than anything milk float wise on the road today. It's fast, it handles well, it does everything properly. It does 250 miles without breaking a sweat. It'll probably do more. Um, and uh, it's just an all round brilliant car. So you want to buy a milk float? Get yourself a Tesla, except Tesla in May this year announced that they're going to stop making the Model X and the Model S, which means if you want a Tesla in this country, in right hand drive, you got to buy that one. That's it. Well, there is the Model 3, but it's basically the same thing. So uh, they've stopped making half of their models in right hand drive already. So the future is already in the past. So it's more like Henry Ford and his Model T. You can have any car you want, as long as it's that one. I think other colours are available, but that model is about it. So uh, Tesla's commitment to right hand drive seems to be slightly waning already, which is a bit worrying for the future. Not to mention the fact that uh, I once, when I had a proper career and stuff, sat down with a man called Professor Dr. John Henry Looney. Look him up, he's real. And he is a uh, lecturer all around the world in sustainability. And he told me that you've got to drive 97,000 miles in a Tesla before it becomes environmentally friendly. So, uh, crack on. You ain't, you ain't buying one of these if you think you're saving the planet. You might be buying it because it's the fast electric car and it's really good for an electric car, but it ain't environmentally friendly. And you still got to charge it up every 250 miles. And if everyone's driving one of these, it's like boiling 30 million kettles on a daily basis and the grid won't cope. So uh, here it is, Tesla, best milk float in the land. It's the future, except it's not. Cheers.